Hello everybody. Let's call today's video ULTY Holdings Update. So I saw an interview with Jay, the fund manager, the Yield Max uh, fund manager, and he said that they would they usually sit down on a Monday and they get a game plan together for the week for ULTY so that you know we'll find updated holdings on their websites uh, on, on the Yield Max website on Mondays. So I decided, you know, let's give it a shot of trying to make a weekly video that will update everybody with ULTY about the current holdings for the week going forward. So I waited till about 1015 Eastern time and I went over to their website and I downloaded the holdings and we only have a few changes as compared to last week and I will go ahead and go over those changes. And I will also, at the end of this video, I will link to the video that shows um, um, how and why I created this uh, watch list that focuses on ULTY so that when this stock is pulling back, I can quickly go to that watch list and see why and, and what holdings is dragging uh, ULTY down. So just want to remind you guys that this is not financial advice. I'm just a retired car mechanic that uh, that has nothing better to do and I decided to make some videos about the stock market because I'm really enjoying the stock market right now. So why not share a video of my thoughts, which you know, again is not financial advice. So when I went and I downloaded the holdings, I compared these holdings to last week's watch list, my ULTY holdings watch list. And there's just a couple of changes. So we have GCT, which is now uh, removed. I guess they closed that position. And it looks like it's a good thing because GCT is currently down 18.6% or $8.02 a share, which is huge for a stock that's only going for 35 bucks. So we'll take this one out. And then we also have NNOX, which is nano imaging. And that position has also been closed out. So we'll go ahead and we'll remove this one. And this leaves us with only 18 positions in the ULTY holdings uh, this week. So I know that Jay was saying that what he likes about ULTY is it gives him and his team flexibility, you know, to um, physically hold the stocks and write covered calls or use synthetic positions and that they also have flexibility on how many holdings they have, um, you know, in the U, uh, ULTY uh, fund. So I guess that they also have the flexibility to add and subtract during the week. Um, but this is where we are right now. So we can see that we have a lot of red and a couple of green. And you know, I, I thought it was interesting because last week Groupon was the big winner. Now everybody bags on Groupon and they were saying that ULTY is no good just because of Groupon and Carvana. But the reason they put these in there is because of the, you know, the high IV, which is implied volatility. And there's an opportunity to make a good premium when you write these options. So this week uh, Carvana is up 2.99%. So maybe they're going to be the big winner this week. Groupon is pulling back a little bit. It was green earlier, but now it's down 0.67. But let's take a look at some of the bigger losers, and that would be CleanSpark. That is down 2.02%. We have MSTR, which is down 743 And if we look over here, we got Mara, which is also a Bitcoin-related stock, down 062 so I'm guessing, and then if we take a look at Riot, we have, that's also Bitcoin related. We got, you know, minus 1.11. So I'm imagining that we're having, without looking at the Bitcoin price, I'm imagining that we're having a slight pullback in Bitcoin price at this very moment because the stock market is open right now and Bitcoin uh, never sleeps. So let's see what else do we have um, in the red today. And then we have, uh, Syndax, which is a pharmaceuticals, they're down 2.64%. We have Soundhound, which is an AI position, and they were down big earlier when I was in here. So now it's only down 5.73, starting to make a comeback. 
And earlier today, ULT, well, on opening, ULTY was down like 65 cents and now it's recovered. Uh, you know, now it's only down 30 cents. So it looks like the big loser today is Riley, uh, which is a financial position, financial related position, and they're down 12.34%. So that gives us an idea of uh, why ULTY goes up and ULTY goes down. So again, I'll link to a video that talks about how and why I put this watch list together. And um, I plan on trying to do this once a week. Now you have to remember that I am a retired, a recently retired person and I don't want to make a commitment. But if I'm not doing anything on Mondays, I will certainly go ahead and make these videos. So I could really use a thumbs up if you could go ahead and do that. But go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can also get an update on the ULTY holdings. And I thank you for watching today.